Hello fellow Total Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to another online battle from Warhammer 2. So this time we're playing as the Vampire Counts and we're up against the mighty Norska. So uh, let's head on over and let's see what I've brought. So back here I only have just one Necromancer uh, with no skill, just the Forbidden Rod to act as a battery. I think he costs like uh, 400 if you only bring that, so uh, it's not a big deal. And uh, yeah, just leave him somewhere behind, or even you can leave him uh, over here, since uh, this is a pretty much uh, Death Star strategy which you're about to see. Two Felbots uh, on the air along with the Terror guys, just in case he went for any Frost Worms or anything like that, or even uh, Mammoths as you can see over here, because these guys are quite good at taking them down. A front line of Spearmen, so they can soak up the damage of any Femir or any other large monster in the front line and some graveguard with seals uh, I didn't get any standard uh, I didn't bring any great swords because uh, I was just trying to win the attrition fight uh, with uh, blobbing up just uh, using uh, the most out of invocation of the heck and healing up the uh, and getting the damage done from the corpse cards as well I also brought a white king uh, no ability just uh, him on foot because uh, I don't want to be on a mount because of the femir and stuff like that and also Kemler on foot which uh, let's see what did he br uh, what did I bring Krell pretty much a standard quite a nice uh, pick and death uh, resurgent for leadership and melee defense raise dead invocation and the chaos tomb blade which provides plus five melee attack which is gonna be great for this uh, standard graveguard at uh, winning down against the Mor uh, Marauder Berserkers because uh, uh, they will still win but at least now the uh, Graveguard will be able to take them down a lot faster with that extra melee attack because this is where they suffer a little bit on the melee attack and two Crypt Horrors in order to have some mass uh, to protect my corpse cards and stuff like that so for my opponent two Mammoths as you can see one Feral uh, oh no one is the Soul Crusher one is the uh, Wolfric uh, the Wanderer with uh, pretty much the standard abilities. What does that thing do? Uh, causes terror? Okay. A mix of Marauder Berserkers, some Spearmen, and uh, I think that's all. Oh, he got the Brutes of the Hound over here and also a Feral Manticore, which uh, I almost thought that was a freaking Frostworm. So uh, this is why I'm just gonna be uh, a little bit conservative at going after this guy. I, I literally thought it was a Frostworm for some reason. Um, yeah, and uh, let's see how this is gonna go. So my oh, and I totally forgot to state that my opponent also have a skin wolf working, and a salmon sorcerer of death with spirit leads and fate Buna. Quite uh, competitive play over there. He's gonna charge in into the spears. I'm gonna let them do that so I can just uh, follow up into uh, these boys with my creep horse. I'm gonna pull them back. I only needed to get that charge. I need to uh, get the grave guard first in there and then the corpse guards. A really nice uh, sip from uh, Wolfric. I don't remember the actual uh, uh, name of the skill. It's gonna go down. The mammoths are gonna have just to. Uh, they're just gonna keep trampling, trampling over here. There's really nothing that can stop them. But as soon as I see that, I'm just gonna summon Krell. I'm gonna get uh, the White King into the combat. Just go encounter these guys all over the place. I bring my Warhounds in the back, which they're gonna charge back. And where's the, uh, the Terror guys? I think I dropped over here. Yeah, I dropped over here. Just trying to do some work on uh, the Soul Crusher, which is uh, quite a formidable foe at the moment. I think what's that? Yeah, Enrage Rider. It causes a lot of terror, but so uh, does the other guy. I don't really remember what does that thing do. But anyway, so it's uh, as you can see an atricious fight. I get my spearmen uh, just soaking up the damage, and as soon as they are off, the Grave Guard are, are gonna follow up with the uh, with the Crypt Horrors. The Mortis Engines, I mean the Corpse Cards are uh, also on this side, on the, on the other, just going uh, and doing some really hard work, dropping invocations left and right. Uh, with Kemler I'm just trying to escape, just uh, trying to stay clear of the Mammoths or even uh, the Feral Manticore as you can see here. And this is why you bring him off foot. Look at that, he got a full charge on him and he didn't actually do any damage. And uh, all I'm gonna do is just follow up with the Terror Geist and it's gonna start doing some work. Well. Uh, Wolfric is gonna be hitting me hard, but uh, I think I'm gonna be able to escape from over here like uh, this thing just uh, Just can't get a hold on the terror guys. I can easily escape the hounds just went back in order for me to get another charge I was actually trying to pin down this summon sorcerer over here, which is quite um, Quite uh, secluded at the moment. Uh, he's all alone into a freaky death uh, blob over here against creep horse hounds He can't escape so he's gonna suffer some uh, really hard damage over here his Kin Wolf is going after uh, the White King and Krell, but uh, 
Krell is no joke here. He's just gonna give the business to these, to these guys. And even if the Mammoths are huge, uh, large targets, and they're getting bust all over the place when charged, they they still will uh, put some good damage. As you can see, Wolfric took all of that damage from the uh, from Krell and the White King actually. And uh, I've been quite uh, on top with my micro throughout the whole game, protecting my corpse cuts, which uh, are going uh, which are doing a lot of work. Finally over here I managed to get the freaking Manticore, there's only just a few Berserkers remaining. The balance of power is starting to tip in my favor as soon as I just uh, got that really nasty damage on Wolfric. This flank is still holding but with a corpse card over here and these numerous uh, forces like uh, look at the Graveguard over here, it hasn't fought yet, it's up to 82 models already, uh, it hasn't dropped and uh, the only reason for that is because these guys are just fighting spearmen and uh, the only one that's actually doing damage is actually the corpse cart and some crit cores but mainly the grave gut is in the back so a lot of that damage like 10% uh, health remaining is due to that thing which is pretty sweet so the terror guys is gonna fly high I'm just gonna pull him out I'm gonna see an opening a free uh, all alone wizard and uh, yeah I'm just gonna snipe him out he's gonna start to retreat I'm gonna follow him up I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna stay on his toe, but uh, I think I will and I need to get that guy destroyed. I don't want any spirit liches or such like uh, that. Although, I don't think spirit liches are any good against the vampire accounts. I can just out heal it quite effectively. So, uh, pretty much, like, the bounce of power is massively in my favor. This guy back there just, <laughs> poor soul, just getting uh, bit down by the forbidden road. Uh, uh, Kemler is just going around, dropping his spells, getting into combat with just uh, some tip stuff, uh, tough, just uh, triggering that plus, uh, plus 5 melee attack, which is really a lot of helpful with the uh, vampire counts because they lack uh, that offensive, uh, uh, that offensive ability. The, only the grave guard have a uh, high melee attack, if I'm correct. Over here, I'm gonna see that the freaking wizard is gonna be coming back, so I'm just gonna send the terror guys, and I think he's gonna get him. Or not? Let me just see over here. Let's see. I think he's gonna get him. I think one more hit and uh, this guy's gonna be down. Yep, and down he go. Oh my dear lord, he. Holy shit, where's the rest of his body? <laughs> oh my dear lord, that was brutal. So there goes his uh, caster, Wolfric, is down to 30% health. The other mammoth also. And it's mainly because of these two guys, because the tough over here honestly can't do that much of a damage, nor neither does the corpse cart, which has been chased off throughout the whole match. Uh, by the mammoths, but I was uh, quite effective at protecting it with some uh, zombie summons, uh, Krell and the White King, and also the Crypt Horror, which are down to just three models at the moment, and also crumbling. The other side is collapsing. Honestly, I don't know why I'm keeping all these forces over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this whole pocket just coming towards this way. But honestly, the only thing that remains is just these three targets, which, uh, well, eventually they're gonna go down. Just Krell. And the White King all alone can take them down quite easily. Krell is actually at his healing cap, for fra for frack's sake. Uh, does he de re uh, degenerate? I don't remember. I think he degenerates uh, during because uh, uh, I just get uh, I remembered from my campaign where you actually get the skill that he doesn't degenerate. But I think on the uh, multiplayer it's quite different. So yeah, that uh, that's gonna be pretty much it. Like I'm just gonna blow up over here, just drag down Wolfric and the Mammoth. Uh, the Soul Crusher, these Berserkers over there, how many? Just three remaining, the Spears can finish them off. It's gonna take them like a minute to take them down, but still. And uh, there he goes, he uh, collapses. Uh, it's gonna take me a minute to realize that this is an unbreakable unit, so I'm just gonna, as soon as I see it, I'm gonna go after him, but uh, my opponent just catches up to me and uh, he get, uh, he just uh, forfeited. So, a nice build uh, from my opponent, just look at the kills of Wolfric, 327, but it was mostly zombies, spearmen, more summoned zombies, so uh, uh, I don't think he really did much, although he got a nasty kill count on my two graveguard on the other side, on the uh, center and right, but the left side, which were only uh, Marauder Berserkers, and actually the uh, Brutes of the Hound weren't able to just pass through that tide, and uh, yeah. Felbats, I don't even remember what I did with them, they just melted, uh, the Warhounds pretty much uh, the same. Crypt Horrors did an amazing job at just pinning down the enemy forces, just making the Mammoths not so easy to just trample through my army. They still trampled through my army, but at least most of the times they were uh, they were just stopped by these guys for a moment, so Krell and the White King could uh, catch up to them. Corpse Cuts, uh, it says zero kill over here, but... Uh, 
I think it's more than that. Uh, do they actually do damage? I don't remember if the corpse cards do damage. I I I genuinely don't remember. Uh, I always miss them. Uh, I think they only provide the meta attack. So I I really don't know what to say. Like uh, disclaimer over here. I don't remember what the corpse cards uh, with unholy loadstone actually do. I think it's only regeneration and melee attack and uh, stats in general. So uh, yeah, just. Uh, Excuse me if I said about anything about damage and the terror guys just did an amazing job just providing me the uh, Mobility that I needed to snipe out uh, either the salmon sorcerer or even wolfric or even the other mammoth which uh, Get really hit by the terror guys and the breaths. I was dropping some breaths and yeah for my uh, Opponents opponents build uh, it was quite nice, but I think he needed some anti lards for obvious reasons, I think uh, you don't need Fimir with uh, the uh, with anti lards. I think you need uh, a, a best pick should be the uh, normal one, which uh, only get uh, armor piercing. I don't remember what's the name of it, but you don't. I don't think the, you need the anti lards variant over here. They uh, it might actually be great if you bring the other one, the other ones. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed, uh, guys. Feel free to leave a like or a comment, and I'm gonna be seeing you next time. Bye bye.